Hello English learners and welcome to English lessons with Grammar Man. I'm Grammar Man and I'm coming to you once again from Progressive English, the language school in Zurich, Switzerland. Today's lesson is on indefinite pronouns. Students often get confused with these, so let's take a look at the key to mastering these right now. The key to mastering these indefinite pronouns is knowing that we can use some indefinite pronouns only in positive clauses and some only in negative clauses and questions. That is the key. I'll explain this for you and then there will be a quiz on some example sentences at the end of this lesson. I have other lessons on these indefinite pronouns that focus more on the meaning of each word and I'll put links to those in the description under this video lesson. So let's dive straight in. The key rules are we use all the pronouns beginning with some. So somebody, someone, something, and somewhere most often in positive clauses. For example, someone is at the front door. I want to go somewhere warm for Christmas. I want something to eat. I'm starving. All of these are positive sentences. Occasionally, we can use these with questions. Is something wrong? Would you like something to eat? But the vast majority of the time, these pronouns with some are used in positive sentences. We do not use these indefinite pronouns in negative clauses. Conversely, we use indefinite pronouns starting with any. So anybody, anyone, anything, and anywhere in negative clauses. I didn't do anything wrong. I won't tell anyone your secret, I promise. He doesn't go anywhere without his phone. All negative sentences. We also quite often use these pronouns in questions. Did you know anyone at the meeting? Is there anything I can do to help? Wow, you've traveled so much. Is there anywhere you haven't been? So we don't use these pronouns in positive clauses. Now let's talk about indefinite pronouns starting with no. So nobody, no one, nothing, and nowhere. These are used in positive clauses. Nobody likes boring meetings. I'm bored, there's nothing to do. There was nowhere to park the car. All positive sentences. Now something to be aware of, it's very important not to use these pronouns starting with no in negative clauses. So you can't say, I'm bored, there isn't nothing to do. This sounds very uneducated. Instead, which indefinite pronoun do we normally use in negatives? One starting with any. So if we want a negative sentence, we could say, I'm bored, there isn't anything to do. Indefinite pronouns starting with no are not generally used in negatives or questions. And lastly, we have the indefinite pronouns starting with every. So we have everybody, everyone, everything, and everywhere. And we use these mainly in positive clauses. For example, he's so popular, everyone likes him. She is so smart, she knows everything. They have traveled so much. They've been everywhere. Uh, they are also used quite often in negatives and questions though. Not everyone likes him. Can everyone please listen for a moment? Okay, so that is an overview of all of these indefinite pronouns. In a moment, we will have a quiz, but first, a couple of exceptions. As I'm sure you are aware by now, there are often exceptions to the rules in English. Indefinite pronouns starting with any and indefinite pronouns starting with some are occasionally interchangeable in questions, only in questions. For example, did you meet anyone at the party? Did you meet someone at the party? This means the same thing. Or, wow, you've done a lot of traveling. Is there anywhere you haven't been? Is there somewhere you haven't been? Again, same, same. But you will find 
uh, that the rules that I've taught you in this lesson work well the vast majority of the time. Let's now have a short quiz on some common example sentences. What I'd like you to do is in a moment, pause the video and think of, or even better, write down your answer to these questions or your answers to these questions. And I'll tell you the answers and reasons when you press play. Okay, so press pause now and record your answers. All right, let's go through them. Number one, the answer is anything, anything, because this is a negative sentence. Number two, the answer is nothing, because this is a positive sentence. Number three, the answer is somewhere. This is a positive sentence. Number four, the answer is anywhere, because this is a negative sentence. Number five, the answer is everything, because this can be used in questions and is referring to all the things that you need for your trip. Next one, the answer is anywhere, because this is a negative sentence. And lastly, the final answer is nowhere, because this is a positive sentence. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you did well in the quiz and found it helpful. If you need more detailed information on each of these indefinite pronouns, then you should really watch my lesson on these, which you can do by clicking on these icons here. If you like today's lesson, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe and click the bell so that you never miss an episode. I have new lessons coming out every few days. Apart from that, I wish you all the best with your English goals and life goals. Cheers. Mm -hmm.